Ooh, hello everybody and today is special edition video for uh, Halloween. So with me today is the pumpkin and we're going to speak today about another beautiful wine. So subscribe this channel, like my video and uh, we will start. Today we're going to speak about one dark grape variety and I think you would understand from my description what kind of it if I would say that the name of this grape comes from one like bird from French it is mm, Merle. Yeah, it's Merlot. So Merlot is a world famous grape. Same like Cabernet Sauvignon. But Cabernet is not so soft. Cabernet is not so elegant. And um, let's see what we're going to taste today. Today I have a beautiful bottle of Columbia Winery. Here you can see such a beautiful landscape. Very beautiful, if you say it really. I like this uh, black uh, golden um, label on which we can see the landscape with uh, such a forest, uh, hills uh, and folk. So quite dark. <laughs> That's why I choose it today for the Halloween. So a uh, very dark label, dark style. Dark style label. And um, it's 100% Merlot, uh, 2016, uh, volume of alcohol 13 and 9. So it's for the Merlot, it's absolutely fine. It's not uh, too high. On the back side here, you can see a whole description about the establishment of the company and what you can find out inside of the bottle, which is really, really comfortable and really great. I. I, I feel myself really thankful for them, for this description, because usually, like a lot of shops, they don't have a professional sommelier who can uh, come and help the customers choose the proper wine. And uh, usually New World, like Australia, New Zealand, Africa, America, they help customers to understand what they can find out inside of the bottle. They have a full description. No, about uh, the company, maybe this is too much, uh, but about the wine, this is really useful. But may, we're not going to read this. We need to find out everything about this wine ourselves. As you see from this glass, it's a deep purple color. We make a little bit hurricane inside, what may, will help for aeration and uh, to give oxygen to wine and uh, to open it like a flower. When it will open, you can will you you will find out all the beautiful flavors inside, and also the legs. So legs will show us what these tiny drops which goes down. They will show how bodied is the wine. So from from this, I can see that it's medium bodied. First, what we need to find out is the smell. We can feel. A beautiful ripened dark cherries, red cherries, and uh, um, like a leathery tobacco smell. Hmm, it's quite intense. It's dry, medium acidity, medium bodied. Uh, tannin are really good balanced. Because of that, it's quite soft. You feel the flavors of uh, black currant, red uh, ripened cherries. Or better, less, I would say you by the steps. So the first, when you will taste it, you will feel um, a slight acidity from these ripened cherries. After, a leather and tobacco. And in the end, a quite in really intense, long, pronounced finish. But as a surprise, it has as a spiciness and the sweetness of vanilla inside. No, pumpkin. What you would say about this wine? Is it good? <laughs> I think he would say yes. <laughs> Probably yes. This wine is absolutely beautiful. It's uh, it has its tannin, it has its bodiness, but everything is mild, soft. Everything in the middle. So uh, such a wine will fit perfectly with such a uh, dishes as uh, roast beef, roast chicken, with uh, blue cheese. Because as we know, blue cheese fit well with the sweet wines, but you feel a slight vanilla sweetness in the long finish of this wine. And also cheddar. So the cheddar will fit well because still it has a slight spiciness inside. So I definitely recommend this wine. It's beautiful, 
it's elegant and I have a spooky Halloween. Cheers!